Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about Cartoon Animator 5, again, but it's gonna be worth it. Cartoon Animator, also known as CTA, is a great piece of software, and I want people to give it a chance. Also, we're gonna put food on the table. So I would like to thank Reillusion for sponsoring this channel, and thank you, as our viewers, for making this possible. So, Cartoon Animator is an easy to use and comprehensive 2D animation tool that allows you to generate high quality animations very quickly. With powerful tools for rigging, animation, bones, real time motion capture, G3 characters, auto physics, vector support, and so much more. These recent updates introduced outstanding features that will make any character animator and video creator's life much more easier. And you can just check some of the videos, projects, and animations created using the software. Some of this stuff is so good, and I can definitely see myself watching this on TV. But Cartoon Animator isn't just for TV production. You would be surprised to know how many people can take advantage of this powerful software, like content creators, YouTubers, and streamers, especially with live puppeteering and live motion capture tools, in addition to education, cartoons, and even engineering and the medical field. The possibilities are literally endless. On the other hand, surprisingly the software is very simple to use. For something like this feature pack, you would expect a lot of clutter, and just all around being hard to use. Cartoon Animator's UI really makes it very easy to learn, but it can offer infinite customizations and tools under the hood once you need them. For instance, Cartoon Animator works with vector graphics and bitmap images. Both can be imported, rigged, and animated. Not only that, it also offers a lot of automated features. For instance, a secondary motion can be applied to any object, image, or character. Spring Dynamics allows you to apply weight to your characters, which makes it very easy to add those flapping animations or follow through motions. These add a breath of life to your static characters, and you can just check the difference. It is like night and day. Freeform deformation is another feature that was introduced in CTA. And this feature allows you to exaggerate motion by stretching and moving the character or image using the lattice points. This helps you achieve the effect of squashing and stretching effortlessly. Freeform deformation, or FFD, comes with a long list of presets and pre-made motions that you can just drag and drop onto an image or character and make them come to life. Vector graphics support is another one that was introduced in CTA. This allows you to import vector and SVG files from any vector software into Cartoon Animator. The vector graphics workflow enables you to create infinitely scalable scenes and animations completely unshackling yourself from the limitations of faster graphics so you can zoom in to see more details or zoom out to a whole city without losing any quality. Not to mention the vector approach, which also helps you to customize your characters very easily. Things like clothes, colors, and accessories can be adjusted non-destructively, which introduces more variety to your designs. And Reillusion is constantly up in the ante because in the last update, they introduced something called Motion Pilot, which opens up the door for even more innovative ways to animate your characters. The most interesting one of them, in my opinion, is using your mouse cursor to guide an object, a character, or a flock of birds around your shot. Couple that with auto physics and spring dynamics, and you got yourself one of the easiest ways to animate stuff. Motion Pilot is way more sophisticated than that, because it can help you not only with moving, but also triggering animations, following paths, and even controlling the tempo or timing of your animations. Now, you might be wondering, Cartoon Animator is a great tool, but how would it help me in my work? Well, first of all, Cartoon Animator is compatible with all video editing software and plays well with most photo editing software as well. Actually, it has a PSD Sync feature that allows you to move between your photo editing software of choice, like GIMP or Photoshop, in a breeze. Software like Premiere Pro, Vegas, DaVinci, and Final Cut are just a few examples. And due to its highly manageable transparent footage, specifically for compositing, mainly .move and PNG sequences, which I think offers a very easy way 
to layer your animations in a video editing software. For content creator, this means creating more engaging content by incorporating all those animations and movements into your videos. In addition, Cartoon Animator allows you to blend live action and 2D character footage. Using real footage as a backdrop, you can add vivid 2D animations using facial expressions, smooth body motions, head movements, and even 360 degree head turns, which is very easy to set up in CTA. Another feature I think content creators would find very interesting, even though it might be a bit niche, is live or real-time puppeteering. Cartoon Animator offers the simplest approach, I think, for real-time motion capture. Even though this can be used to draw facial and upper body animation, it can also be used as a real-time feed for YouTube or Twitch or any other streaming services. And this can be done with one of the motion capture gadgets like Rococo. But it can also be done just by using your phone with a normal RGB camera. The real-time mocap in CTA is versatile because it can drive realistic characters, stylized animals, and anything else in between. And it offers multiple profiles with six distinctive mood controls like happy, sad, angry, smiley, and so on. This, on top of the other features, and Real Illusion being constantly pushing the boundary of what can be called 2D animation, like the 3D to 2D workflow with iClone and incorporating a lot of 3D animation workflow into CTA, makes me really excited about the future of the software as I really like using it. So if you are interested in using Cartoon Animator 5, you can try it for free by following the link in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.